available energy the complete conversion of heat into work is not possible this is a rule obtained from the analysis using the second law of thermodynamics for some quantity of heat absorbed from a thermal energy reservoir at high temperature a certain part can be converted to work and the rest is to be rejected to a low temperature reservoir as a waste heat the part of heat available for conversion to the useful work is called available energy the portion of heat that is wasted is called unavailable energy the most efficient heat engine is the carnot cycle in this the maximum work produced depends on the temperature limits of thermal energy reservoirs between which the heat engine is working if the temperature limit are widened by the increasing the higher temperature limit and decreasing the lower temperature limit the work output increases systems contain energy but how much of that energy can be actually used determines the usefulness of energy dead state a system is said to be in dead state if it is in thermodynamic equilibrium with its surrounding there is no temperature difference for any heat flow there is no pressure difference for any work transfer it has no kinetic energy or potential energy with respect to the surroundings for producing any work the system becomes useless actually every finite energy source upon using up all of its energy arrives at a state in which the energy is not further extractable that is it will be in thermodynamic equilibrium with its surrounding in other words when the source arrives at the state of environment after depleting its energy the work is no longer extractable our environment has immense amount of energy but it has no exergy it is a dead state where no energy is extractable exergy means the potential to produce work availability of a system can be defined as the theoretical maximum amount of work which can be obtained from that system at any state p1 and p1 when operating with a reservoir at constant pressure p0 and temperature t0 availability is a property of the system for a cyclic heat engine a part of the heat energy supplied is converted into useful work and rest is rejected the maximum work output obtained from the heat supplied is the available energy the minimum energy rejected to the sink is the unavailable energy q1 is equal to available energy plus unavailable energy w max is equal to available energy which is equal to q1 minus unavailable energy this availability or maximum work extractable is equal to the product of maximum thermal efficiency of the cycle and the heat supplied w max is equal to maximum thermal efficiency into q1